In many theatrical productions, people wear costumes. In a moment, they are transformed to be somebody from a different place or a different planet altogether. Costumes are powerful things. Often in life, we can wear costumes. We only show the exterior we want to show. The job title we have, the clothes we wear, the image we show to other people. In Acts 3, Peter and John are walking towards a temple when they see a lame beggar on the floor. The lame beggar asks for some money. Peter looks at him intently and he says, look at us, look at us. There's something beautiful about that phrase. Peter is challenging the beggar to look at who they really are. People with God at work in their lives. You see, the Holy Spirit is not contained to the temple anymore. The Spirit of God works in each and every one of our lives. Peter says, look at us. God was at work in their lives. The beggar is probably expecting some cash. At this point, Peter says to him, gold or silver, I have not. But instantly, the beggar is healed. He celebrates and rejoices. He begins to walk and jump. He jumps to really emphasize the point that he has been healed. And the people are amazed. You see, Peter offers the man healing. In the chapter before, we've discovered how the early church had discovered that money was not that powerful after all. They had shared all they had, all the possessions they had, as if they were family, a new family. And so Peter offers the beggar not money, but healing. And it happens just outside the temple. The temple where God was supposed to act is not the place where the action takes place. It's outside the temple. God is no longer boxed up and contained. God is at work in the midst of ordinary life. Those words look at us. When people look at you, what do they see? Do they see the costume you're wearing? Or do they see God at work in your life? And when people come to you saying, please, can you help me? Remember that we have more than gold and silver. We have the very reality of God to speak into their lives.